late last night we had a call from a Walmart employee that they were for a, conduct a welfare check in a tractor trailer that was parked in a lot here. Uh, he was approached by someone from that truck who was asking for water. Um, came back with the water, called the police. We arrived on the scene and found uh, eight people dead in the back of that trailer. Uh, there were a number of other people that Chief Hood will talk about who were transported to local hospitals. Um, uh, checking the video from the, from the store, we found that uh, there were a number of vehicles that came in and picked up um, a lot of the folks that were in that trailer that survived the trip. Uh, we're looking at uh, human trafficking uh, crime here this, uh, this evening. Uh, Department of Homeland Security is involved. Um, they're working with us. Uh, homicide will work with them to determine uh, the, the origin of this, uh, of this horrific tragedy. And um, again, right now we're looking at eight, eight dead. Uh, and there appears to be some juveniles, some adults in their 20s and 30s. And uh, as far as the people who are taken to the hospitals go, I'm going to let you go and brief on those numbers. Charles. Uh, good evening, Charles at San Antonio Fire Department. Uh, we arrived at 1226 to 8538 on uh, IH-35 uh, southbound. Uh, engine 25, medic 25 arrived. Um, PD was already on scene. Uh, we started extricating patients out of the back of a uh, semi-truck. The air conditioning was not working, uh, so everyone was removed. Uh, during that time, we had eight patients that were deceased. Uh, we had another 20 patients that were either in extremely critical condition or very serious condition, and they've been transported to a number of hospitals. We also had eight that were a less uh, of severity that have been transported by our AMBUS to uh, another hospital. We utilized helicopters to fly patients out. We use a lot, utilized at least seven area hospitals to transport these people out. Our paramedics and firefighters found that each one of them had heart rates over about 130 uh, beats per minute, which uh, again, they were very hot to the touch. So these people were in that trailer without any signs of any type of water. So you're looking at a lot of a heat stroke, a lot of dehydration. Uh, as Chief McManus mentioned, we do have at least two school-age children that we know about. The demographics will probably change in the morning as far as males or females. But again, eight deceased, 20 that have been transported to seven area hospitals. Uh, eight more that have been transported that are less critical. Uh, we're very fortunate that there weren't 38 of these people that were all locked inside that vehicle dead, but again, very sad uh, incident that our police and fire departments have responded on. I'll take questions after Chief McManus is finished, finishes up. Questions? Yeah, how many were in the trailer? Well, we're looking at what, 30? 38. 38. Do you know where the trailer came from? We don't. That's part of the investigation. Do you have any suspects? We have an individual in custody that we drive. How long has the truck been parked here? We don't know. Uh, we're assuming that it probably hasn't been there too long uh, prior to the police being called because an individual who had gotten out of the back of that truck uh, approached the employee of Walmart. Uh, the employee uh, is who called us, who called the police. How did that individual get out of the truck and did any others follow him? I don't know for certain. I'm going to assume that, that since the driver is on the scene, that the, 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 the outside let him out the driver. We're going to assume. I don't know if that's factual or not, but I'm assuming that that's How many that. kids do you have? There were, there were, draw, well, Chief Hood said there were two. Uh, the numbers. At least two school age three. children, but again, that demographic will probably change in the morning. Uh, we do have medic officers at each hospital. We triage each one of these people. It was a mass casualty situation for us, so we treat it just like you would do an airline crash or any kind of major incident. So each one of those persons has a number and a tag. We're going to have to reconcile who they are and the sexes and all of those things will come up in the morning, but we for sure know there were two school-aged children that were transported. Did any of the captains try to escape through the nearby woods? There, there were some that we, uh, well, some went into the woods, we, we checked, we're going to have to uh, do that search again in the morning. We, we, we looked with the uh, helicopter and with, uh, on foot, but we're going to do that again in the morning when uh, we've got some light. What are the conditions of the other, of the other can? 
You said there were a total of 38 people in there, right? We took a total of 38. Well, there's a total of 38 in the incident that we know of so far. Eight are deceased that are um, on the scene still. 20 have, are very severe, so that is a total of 20. So that's parties ones and twos. There are another eight that were transported that are not as severe that just need to be rehydrated. So that is the total number we're looking at right now.